Sam Bridges, there's someone we need you to deliver a package to. She's a strange bird that lives even higher up in the clouds than we do. And the research she's doing? Well, it's out there and then some. And we're talking straight up occult stuff, though she wouldn't be very happy hearing me say so. And she claims she's delving into the mysteries of the cosmos. Anyway, I found this rock out in the mountains with a handprint on it. And when I mentioned it to her, she got all excited. I honestly don't know what kind of close encounter she thinks it signifies. But I was wondering if you could bring it to her for me. And joining the UCA has opened my eyes to a few things. Like how there are all these people out there trying to make sense of the Death Stranding in their own way. And sure, her ideas may sound like the ravings of a lunatic to me, but they clearly mean something to her, and I'd like to help her out. With your assistance, that is. You'll find an official order on the terminal. Sam, it's just like the one at South Knot City. A vortex loaded with so much chirelium that it's almost off the charts. Slowly but surely, it's creeping closer to us here in Mountain Knot. At least that's what I think, but I can't see it. Not with the naked eye. But the data doesn't lie. It's the same temporal phenomenon that you told me dropped you in a war zone. I told you. But that wasn't. The Cupid's Limiter can handle most chiral spikes, but... 
We didn't plan for another supercell. Another supercell? I told you it was the same as before. Mama, is that you? You got me, Sam. It's been a while. But not really. Mulligan, Machna, we're the same. One body, one mind, one being. There's no point in trying to draw a distinction. Not in this world. We're all connected. Remember that. Order assigned. <laughs>
Sam Bridges. I've been expecting you. The Mountaineer told me all about you. This handprint you brought me, or stencil as I prefer to call it, is a vital clue. It hails from an era long before the dawn of human history. I'm going to date it and lay bare the cause of the Death Stranding. And when I do, all the secrets of the cosmos shall be revealed. Uh, did you know this mountain used to be a pyramid in ancient times? <laughs> it's true. You won't find a place closer to the beach than this. To the wellspring, a source of untold power. How else do you think that chiral network of yours works? But I digress. Show me the stencil. Thank you. It's in excellent condition. All right, connect me to the chiral network. Now I have everything I need to date the stencil. Once I have my results, I'll share them with you and your colleagues at Bridges. You've done a good thing, Sam. If you find anything else, be sure to bring it straight to me. I'll be waiting. You should take this. I'm certain that it will be of use to you in your journey. Until we meet again, my friend. Sam, it worked. BB-28 is in excellent condition. No evidence of lingering attachments or homesickness either. Perhaps its memory was erased after all. All that remains is for you to hook it up and take it for a run. I was hoping to return it to you as soon as possible, but... Uh, I don't want to. I mean, I do, but it's a little more complicated than that. What? We've got a problem. You may have heard about the massive supercell heading right for Mountain Knot City. I left my facility to perform some additional tests on the BB in the field, and now I find myself unable to return. You know the cabin on the mountainside, northeast of Mountain Knot? Let's meet there. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information.
suspect. Uh, did you see the man leading the soldiers? No. I think it's the guy you told us about. The born and bred warrior asshole who's gunning for BB. He must be our ticket home, right? Don't ask me. This is only my second time. And without BB, he'll be hard to find. Lucky for you, I've got BB here in tip-top shape, just waiting for you. Where should we meet? Is there anything unusual or distinct near you? I'm in the sewers. Hang on. I can see a tower through a hole, a square tower, right above my position. Gotcha. 
I'll find it and search for a sewer entrance. Can you sit tight for now? Gladly. I won't move an inch. Yeah, well, if I'm slow, you might have to. What? That warrior asshole. He wasn't after me. He was after Bibi. <sighs> Fuck me. Right. If he's looking for anyone, it's you. Oh, no. Hurry the hell up, Sam. Keep it together. I'm on my way. And don't hook up Bibi either. You'll lead him straight to you. Oh, boy. Not that you would, since you hate them. I just did because I was scared to death. Disconnect. Now. Uh, already done. Don't let him take BB. How? If he shows up with his soldiers, what do you expect me to do? Fight back? If I have to choose between BB and myself, well... <sighs> you won't. I'm ending the call. Sam. It's not easy being me. No wife, no children, no friends. And so I sought solace. Sought company in the dead. Over time, I made them a part of me. 70% of who I am today. But meeting you has opened my eyes. You're very special, Sam.
Little one should be working again. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, well then. <laughs> Maybe this is a special beach for soldiers who died in battle. Maybe we should get the hell out of here. Yes. I'm surprised. I thought you would have abandoned BB by now. <laughs> Discard precious hardware? Never. Uh. So, do you still share memories? <sighs> I see. Stay here. Seems like I got other memories to tend to. I'm taking him down as you get us both out of here. Uh, you know, Sam, I'm starting to understand why BB is so important to you. Huh? It's just a tool. Life and death are supposed to be irrelevant. But we've got attached to each other all the same, haven't we? <sighs> Kid's not just a tool. Name's Lou. Lou, huh? That's a good name. Enforcement. 
movement! Get, get back out there!
How's little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. The child's taking a shine to me. <sighs> you two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. <laughs> Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. I found some records from ten years ago. A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A void out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him, because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges, too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless, Meat puppet. No car. A dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. You see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? Why I joined Bridges? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone. Anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. It wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. Oh, that. You were holding it. It's an old dog tag. U.S. issue. Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. 
Uh, you must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Yeah.